Our next guest, you probably saw most recently on News Channel 12. I'm sure there's a story behind that. Please welcome Robert Dean. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, Gotham Comedy Club. Hello, stone teenagers who lost the remote. It's good to be here. It's a little weird being on TV right now because I am pretty self-conscious right now about how I look. Because the other day, I made the mistake of trying to create myself in a video game. It's a mistake. Because according to this video game, my hairstyle can only be described as female politician. <laughs> yeah, you see? Which is insulting to me, because I also cut my own hair, if you couldn't imagine. Sir, do you also? Sorry, that was mean. I cut my own hair for one reason, and that reason is I don't like small talking with the barber. So I decided to cut that out of my life. Because to me, there is nothing worse than small talking about the weather while making eye contact with yourself in the mirror. I hate it. I hate sitting there still just being like, yes, it was very warm out today. Before we know it, winter will be back. I don't like that. Don't get me wrong, though, I do like small talking about the weather, so much so I would never get a job at the Weather Channel because I have no idea how you'd small talk with your coworkers at the Weather Channel. <laughs> I imagine you get on the elevator with some guy, you're like, hey, nice day out. He'd be like, leave it in the office! <laughs> As you can probably tell at this point in my set, I am a man who owns a bathrobe. <laughs> you all were, you were all thinking that, yeah. I didn't buy it, I stole the bathrobe from a hotel I was staying at. And then that hotel immediately charged me $150 for the missing bathrobe. So now a used hotel bathrobe is the most expensive item of clothing I own. And every day, every day I have to look at it and go, is today the day? Today the day I wear it outside? And let the whole world know I'm the bathrobe guy? I'm not ready to be the bathrobe guy. I don't do enough drugs to be the bathrobe guy. I am trying, don't get me wrong. This is true, last month I just did acid for the first time and boy are my arms. Everyone here is on acid apparently. I have to finish that joke. Last month I just did acid for the first time and boy are my arms still snakes. See, it doesn't. I'll take it. That is my acid joke I wrote on acid. I wanted to get it out. It's important to me. Last month, I went to my very first Jewish wedding. I was the guy in a suit and a bathrobe. Have you all been to Jewish weddings? Yeah? yeah. I decided during the reception that I am going to convert to Judaism. Because I want a chair ride. <laughs> Why is that fair? That only Jewish people getting married get hoisted up in a chair and bounced around. I want that. But as a non-Jewish single man, the only chance I'll ever get lifted up in a chair is if I strap myself to a chair and refuse to leave this Ikea. <laughs> Security comes, carries me out. I start singing, Hava, Ikea, Hava. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get married. I'm very happily single right now. Here's the trick. Yeah, give it up. That's right, what I just said uh, five seconds ago. I'm very happily single, I'll tell you, because uh, to me, the trick is taking yourself out on dates. Here's something I've learned recently. When you're the only person sitting at a Benihana hibachi table, the chef still puts on the entire show. <laughs> then he expects you to catch all the shrimp in your mouth. 
Which reminded me, when I was 11 years old, I once went to hibachi with my 80-year-old grandmother. And for some reason, that hibachi chef still thought that she could catch shrimp in her mouth. <laughs> and after six pieces of hot, oily shrimp, <laughs> hitting my grandmother, <laughs> I had to say something. <laughs> I'm 11. And I yell out, hey, stop throwing shrimp at my grandmother. <laughs> Which I was convinced would have been the best thing I've ever heard yelled out at a Japanese restaurant. <laughs> but I was wrong, because when I was having hibachi alone, this is true, there was a couple behind me having sushi for the first time. And I know that because the guy yelled out, I've never had avocado before. <laughs> Which, yes, is ridiculous. So I turn and look as he took his fork and plunged it into the wasabi. Oh. Then he ate an entire forkful of wasabi. At which point he yelled out, wow, avocado's spicy. <laughs> The only way I can imagine that being better if you went, wow, avocado tastes like wasabi. <laughs> Somehow new. I wanted to follow this guy around for the rest of his life just to see his next avocado experience. <laughs> I spent a lot of time at carnivals. Any carnival I see, I go to that carnival. This summer I was at a carnival and there was an Italian food cart and I was gonna get Zeppelis, but I couldn't because on the food cart, I'm not making this up, there's a handwritten piece of loose leaf paper that simply read, we don't have Zeppelis, the Zeppeli guy died. <laughs> and I was looking at that sign, I was like, that sign could just say, we don't have Zeppelis. <laughs> or like, help wanted, Zeppeli guy. <laughs> Or like, it's with a heavy heart, we have to announce our beloved Zeppelin chef recently passed away. Our only regret is never learning his name. Rest in peace, the Zeppelin guy. But ever since I saw it, I've been so afraid of my own legacy. Like, what if I die and comedy clubs around America just put handwritten pieces of loose leaf papers on their door that simply read, we don't have that Zeppelin guy joke. The Zeppeli guy joke guy died. <laughs> I gotta do, I gotta, no, 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 I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, I gotta get out of here. I wanna tell you about, I, I, I think I'm pretty funny on stage, but I think I'm the funniest after sex. Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else think they're hilarious at cuddling? No? I am, I know this because recently I had sex with a girl and let's just say I apologized immediately. And then we're lying there, not saying anything. She gets up and starts getting, she starts getting redressed. And she goes, where are my socks? And without hesitation, I went, I knocked them off you. <laughs> right? I was so proud I came again. All right, my name is Sweatshirt. Thank you all. Thank you so very much.